At first glance, this Missouri S&T creation may look like a roller coaster, but it's actually part of an experiment focused on determining repair methods and bridge life expectancy after tall vehicles impact bridges. Researchers at S&T will conduct 14 of these collisions in which a 7,000 pound cart goes down the railway and plows into the girders. They say this will help with bridge safety and maintenance and lead to cost savings as well. We have uh, three incidents per day across the U.S. where uh, overheight truck impact bridge beams. Across, we may end up with some sort of damage, all the way from minor damage to the uh, complete uh, bridge collapse. There is not much done actually on testing uh, bridge girders under vehicle impact. So what we're doing here is very unique. We are leading this research. We have fully scale bridge girders where we have the slit here and we have a heavy mass and will hit the bridge girders. We have three objectives in this project. So once we created damage to the girders, our first objective is we're going to bend the beams to determine what is the uh, residual capacity of those beams, how much traffic, how much weight they can carry after the damage. Should we immediately shut down the bridge or can we repair? The next step is repair of those girders to recover their original strengths. Once we come up with the repair options, we are going also to bend the girders again to see, okay, after the repair, are we able to recover 100% of the original capacity? The test setup here is very similar to a roller coaster. The smaller test setup is literally a part of a roller coaster that they acquire uh, from a uh, roller coaster manufacturer. We always have now the unofficial name, the Roller Coaster Lab.